welcome to Amajyoti's Crochet World. Today I am here with my new video tutorial on making the wings of this beautiful flurry. I have named it flurry the butterfly. I am going to make the wings for this butterfly. It's a bag charm uh, used to hang with the bags. You can make it as a keychain also. So let's start with making its wing. For making the wings I have used this 4 ply cotton yarn. You can take any kind of wool as I have made in white color so I am taking the white wool for that. A 2.5 mm crochet hook pastry needle to sew the ends and to sew the wings with the flurry stitch marker and a pair of scissors so let's begin these wings are as uh, made in two parts both the wings one wing I have, uh, I'm going to make for this and uh, this single wing is made by uh, connecting two parts the bigger part and the smaller part so first of all I am going to make this smaller part then the bigger part then going to attach it let's begin one thing as we are going to work in spirals so I am not going to slip stitch or making chain one to start a new row so for that we are going to use the stitch markers to identify the new row so for this first of all make a magic ring for magic ring hold wrap your uh, uh, yarn over your finger like this just this and this making an X over your fingers now from the front uh, yarn take your uh, pressure hook below that and above the back yarn and pull it out like Let me show you again. It slipped like this. I have made an X from the front yarn. I am taking it below, and from the back yarn, I am pulling the thread, uh, pulling the yarn from there. And this makes a ring. This forms a ring. Now we are going to make six single crochet in the ring sorry let me yeah chain one now six single crochet one two three four and five uh, sorry six we need six now six single crochet one two three four five six six single crochet now pull the loose end it will form a ring now in the first single crochet insert your hook and make a single crochet as I told you we are going to work in spirals so we are going to use stitch marker over here this is the first single crochet so I am going to attach the stitch marker over here now for the row 2 we are going to work 2 single crochet in each stitch so total will be 12 in the same stitch I am going to make another single crochet 2 single crochet in the next stitch again 2 single crochet in the next stitch 2 in the next two in the next and last two single crochet 
in the last stitch. Take out the stitch marker. 12 single crochet now. Now for row 3. Make a single crochet in the last uh, first stitch of the last uh, row. Now for this we are going to work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch. 2 single crochet in next. 1 and then 2. 1 then 2. This is the sequence. 1 single crochet I have made. Now I am going to make 2 single crochet in the next. 1 2 1 single crochet and 2 single crochet in the next. 1 single crochet and 2 single crochet in the next. 1 2 1 and last stitch we will be having 2 single crochet. Now the total stitch count will be 18 for row, row number 3. Now start with the next row. Make 1 single crochet and put the marker over there. First stitch. Now the sequence will be 1 single crochet, 1 single crochet and 2 single crochet. 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, 2. So the total will be 24. 1, 1, 2 single crochet. 1, 1 and 2 single crochet. 1, 1 and 2 single crochet. 1, 1, 2 single crochet. 1, 1 single crochet and 2 single crochet, 1 single crochet, 1 single crochet and in the last stitch we will be having 2 single crochet, fine. Now this is the circle where the stitch count is 24. Now in the next row, row number uh, Row number 5. Now our work will be, uh, such, first of all place the marker over here. Okay, I am going to make, starting the row number 5. Now the sequence will be, we are going to decrease one stitch from here. As we have worked 24, now we are going to decrease one stitch uh, every third stitch like one single crochet one single crochet and two stitches together okay one one and two stitches together we will be doing uh, invisible decrease invisible decreases take front post your front uh, stitch of the uh, next two stitches and pull the thread from there, uh, yarn from there. Take the front post of front loop of uh, next stitch, front loop of next stitch, yarn over, pull through over the two loops. Now we have two loops over uh, the hook and make the single crochet. Now sequence will be one st uh, single crochet one single crochet and invisible decrease in the third and fourth one one decrease one one and decrease one one and decrease one one and the last stitch will be the decrease one fine like this
we have decreased now take out the marker now we are going to work in two uh, rows with single stitch in each and every stitch total stitch count will be 18 so one two single st uh, one stitch in each and every stitch now no decrease no increase this is now the last one one single crochet in each and every stitch with total stitch count will be 18 Three rows, three rows we are going to make in the last stitch, the uh, last row. One single crochet in each and every stitch now. Now finish off this wing, cut the yarn, and keep it aside. Now we are going to make this bigger part. This was the smaller part, and that is the bigger part. Again the slip uh, magic ring. Mix six single crochet in the ring. Three, four, five, and six. Pull the thread. Sorry, pull the yarn and make a ring now two single crochet in each and every stitch again we are going to follow the same steps as we were following for the smaller part but it will be make, uh, made bigger one identify the first stitch with the stitch marker so two single crochet in each and every stitch one two three four five six seven and eight nine and ten eleven and twelve last stitch take out the marker now the sequence will be one single crochet and two single crochet one two and three 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 one and last two and three total stitch count is 18 now next row 
again the sequence will be one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet one two three and four 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 the last pair one two three and four total stitch count is 24 now the next row the sequence will be one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet total stitch count will be 30 one identify the marker two three four and five now this time this pair is one two three four and five in the next stitch one two three four and five in the same stitch one two three four and five in the same stitch one two three four and five in the same stitch one two three four and five in the same stitch now last part is left one two three four and five in the last stitch now this circle is total stitch count is 30 now for the next row we are going to decrease it for decreasing we will be making one single crochet in next three stitches that is one 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 and decrease in the next two stitches so the sequence will be one two three and two stitches together one two three two stitches together one two three and two stitches together one two three 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 and last two stitches together total stitch count is 24 now we are going to work one single crochet in the each stitch total stitch count is 24 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 in the next row again it was 24 now in the next uh, row we are going to make a decrease so decrease will be one single crochet one single crochet and two single uh, row stitches together this time we will be having stitch count of 18 1 2 and 2 together 1 2 2 together 1 2 2 together 1 2 
two together. One, two, two together. One, two, and the last two stitches together. Total stitch count is 18. Now I am going to make one single crochet in each and every stitch. That is total of 18 stitches all round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Now, one more row. Total stitch count of uh, remains 18. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Now, this, at this point of time, we are not going to finishing it off. We are going to attach the smaller part along with it. Now what I am going to do is, despite starting the new row, I am taking the stitch where I finished it off. And making a single crochet from there like this one two three four now I am going to continue on the smaller part uh, how much did I made one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. A round of 18 is finished with smaller one. Now continuing to the bigger part. The stitch that I had taken from here now the next stitch of the bigger part like this 19 because we have finished 18 stitches over here now 19 20 21 sorry 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and 36. Total of 36 stitches. Now, it is joined. Now we are going to continue like this for one more round. One. Now again we are going to work in spiral. So I am going to mark with a stitch marker 1 <coughs> 2 total stitch count will be 36 3 4 5 6 7 oh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 was it this Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
सेवेंटीन नाइनटीन एंड टू सिंगल क्रोशेट नहीं हाँ टू सिंगल क्रोशेट हो गया यस दिस टाइम वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सिंगल क्रोशे आई हैव मेड टोटल स्टिच काउंट इज थर्टी सिक्स ना सो दिस टाइम विल बी फाइव सिंगल क्रोशे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट मै हैव मेड एक दो तीन चार पांच Four single crochet and two single uh, two stitches together. One, two, three, four, and two stitches together. One, two, three, four, and two stitches together. One, two, three, four. And two stitches together. One, two, three, four. Two stitches together. One, two, three, four. Last two stitches together. This time the stitch count is thirty. Earlier it was thirty-six. Now I have reduced six stitches on the go, and total stitches will be thirty. Now again, this will be the decreasing row. This time sequence will be one, two, three decrease. One, two, three decrease. One, two, three decrease. So one, two, three, and a decrease. Two stitches together. One, two, three, and a decrease. One, two, three, and a decrease. One, two, three, and a decrease. One. Two, three, and a decrease. One, two, three, and last decrease. Total stitch count is twenty-four. Again, next round is going to be a decreasing round again. So this time the sequence will be. Two single crochet and a decrease. One, two, two together. One, two, two together. One, two, two together. One, two, two single crochet together. One, two, two single crochet together. One. Two, two single crochet together. One, two, decrease. One, two, decrease. 
वन टू एंड द लास्ट डिक्रीज टोटल स्टिच काउंट इज एटीन नाउ द लास्ट डिक्रीज राउंड नाउ इट विल बी वन सिंगल क्रोशे डिक्रीज वन सिंगल क्रोशे डिक्रीज वन सिंगल क्रोशे डिक्रीज वन एंड टू सिंगल क्रोशे टूगेदर वन टू सिंगल क्रोशे टूगेदर वन टू सिंगल क्रोशे टूगेदर वन डिक्रीज देन वन सिंगल क्रोशे एंड डिक्रीज वन सिंगल क्रोशे and a decrease total stitch count is 12 now we are going to work one single crochet in each and every stitch so total stitch count remains 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and last twelve. Again, one sing one uh, single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One more. That is that will be the last one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, just. To help it uh, uh, easy to uh, make it easy to attach, I am going to make one single crochet in the last row, taking both the sides together. One loop, uh, one stitch from here, and one stitch corresponding to that uh, next row. So. Finish it off, leaving a tail about eight to ten inches, and cut the yarn. Here, one wing is ready. Make same uh, wing like this, so it will be attached here like this and this side. As I have attached small circular parts of the same color as I have used for flurry. You can uh, attach beads or decorative items over here to make it colorful. I have made circles with the yarn 
you can uh, attach uh, any kind of uh, decorative material over there like buttons or beads or like that so your ring will look more fancy so this ring is ready we will make another uh, wing like this and that will be this will be the bigger part the bigger part will be sewn upward like this smaller part will be at the below and this side like this so both ends both the wings will be sewn at the center of the back side of the flurry your beautiful flurry will be ready the wing is like this thank you for watching my channel please like share and subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos and uh, like them thank you so much for watching this video tutorial bye for now